All right, so we are starting on freshly washed hair. I just got out of the shower. I washed and deep conditioned my hair. So first thing we are going to do is put some leave-in conditioner on my hair. And today I'm going to be using the Design Essentials Natural Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. And this stuff like works like a charm. Like I absolutely love it. So far it's like my favorite one. Um, Cause I did try the Shea Moisture one and I love Shea Moisture products in general, but this one, it just goes on so smooth and um, it's consistency, like the way it looks, it's like kind of gelish, but it doesn't dry or anything like a gel, but it just, and it goes on real clear, so you don't have to worry about any flakiness or anything like that, like when you're mixing products and it just building up and it just, it's just real nice and smooth. So I'm just going to go over my whole head and since my hair is really short, um, when I detangle, I just use my fingers as I run them through. And it smells really good too. But I want to make sure that every strand gets some conditioner on it. And I like to apply my products on soaked wet hair, um, especially with my hair porosity because my hair, it takes, it needs a lot of moisture, especially um, if I'm applying products, uh, the more wet it is, the better that it's going to retain moisture and the moisture will last throughout the week and I'm not going to have to worry about hair drying out. So I'm just going to apply just a little more for the crown of my head where my hair is the thickest and it takes a lot more product before it really is coated. And it's good like as you're applying products to massage your scalp um, for blood flow. Blood flow is good for hair growth. Okay, so now that my head is coated with leave-in conditioner, so I'm going to go in now with oil and I'm going to be using my hair growth oil. Um, this is my own personal mix. Um, I just have it in this bottle here. I don't mind the, um, so it's just the coconut oil. Sometimes when it cools off, the coconut oil likes to go back to its original state. But all you have to do is you can warm it up with your hands if you want to um, soak it in the bottle in some warm water. You don't want it too hot because then that would be a hot oil treatment, and that's a whole nother story. But, and if you want me to do a video on that, leave a comment down below and I can do a video on how to do a hot oil treatment for your hair. But for this, we are we're just applying this oil and I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to run it along my scalp, just apply it all over.
And now that I've applied it on my scalp, I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my fingertips because I'm now going to massage my scalp um, with my fingertips so I want some on it while I do that. Okay, now that my hair is all oiled up, it is time to get down to the business. So, what you want to make sure you have is um, some kind of curling cream. I'm going to be using um, the Shea Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding from African Pride. And this stuff works really good on my hair, but whatever works for you is fine. You just want to make sure that you have um, some kind of cream that is meant for um, holding curls and styling on natural hair. So this is the one that I will be using. I love this stuff. It just feels so good on my hair and it leaves it feeling so soft. Um, and usually curling creams will say something like define and elongate, instantly moisturize, and tame frizz. But usually it will say something about holding curls or curling or defining, something like that. So this is what I'm going to use, and um, I'm also going to go in with a rat tail comb um, just to go through the hair and section it off as I go. I'm not actually going to like clip or anything because I just feel like my hair is way too short for that. And I'm, I just prefer for it not to be like super neat because when I untwist it, I like for it to just kind of still be doing its own thing. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the cream. And I'm going to start in the back. So hopefully you'll be able to see. If you can see me, shout your name. I'm just kidding. Okay, so taking my comb, and you can make the sections as big or as small as you want them to. Um, the smaller the section is, obviously, the smaller the curls are going to be. So if you want um, bigger, sort of more wavier curls, then you should do bigger sections. So, uh, this is about the size of what I'm going to do here, and I'm just going to take two fingertips worth of pudding, and then I'm going to just run it my fingers through so that it is the hair is coated. And then I'm just going to twist the hair. And then I'm doing two strand, these are two strand twists. Is the first one and what I like to do is I'm going to take some um, hair serum this is the Moroccan argan oil silky serum uh, you can find it at your local hair store and I'm just going to pump some on my hand just one drop if you can see that and I'm just going to run it over the twist as I go back and make sure that it's nice and tight and this is just going to help lock in the moisture 
and you'll also have less frizz whenever you take out the twist. And I'm just going to repeat that. And if you are someone and you um, might have like a few straight hairs on the end, if you just take your finger and curl it around, it'll just help to find the curl at the end of the hair so that it's not like straight sticking out. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just like twirling it around my finger. That'll just help lock it in. So it's curly and not straight. And I'm just going to continue to do this all over. So I'll show you one more time. And like I said, I'm not trying to have them super straight. Hair serum. We are coming to the end, you guys. So, this is my two-strand twist. 
it looks like in the back. And don't worry about the white from the product because it's going to dry clear. You're not going to have any flakiness or anything. And I'm just going to take my satin bonnet and put it over my head. And I'm going to sleep on like this for it to dry. Um, if you were in a hurry, if you were doing this in the morning and you... Um, want it to dry faster if you want you can sit under a hooded dryer but I am staying away from heat um, while I'm doing this hair journey in the beginning and me and my sister actually kind of have a challenge going on seeing who can go um, a who can go the longest without putting heat on their hair and B um, whose hair grows faster and longer after I think we said a year so um so yeah so no heat for me um so yeah so i'm gonna let it dry overnight and take them out in the morning and we'll see how they come out all right okay so it is the next morning and so i'm just going to untake undo these twists i'm going to be um applying oil to eliminate frizz and I'm actually using the Kakui oil anti-frizz hydrating oil from OGX and that's what it looks like there and I'm just going to spray it all over my head Okay, and then I'm just going to spray some on my hands so that, again, I'm trying to eliminate frizz. So, having oil on my hands as I go through and apply is going to help do that. And I'm just going to untwist them like that. And if you want, you can break them apart into smaller pieces and I'm just going to go through and do that nice and curly and you want to make sure too that you don't have um, any snags on your fingernails because it will catch it and then It'll make it frizzy if it snags the hair. I'm just going to continue to do this all over and splitting it up as I feel desired. So you can split them up as you feel desired. And you don't have to take out the twist if you want to rock it like this. My mom actually likes to wear her hair out. Um, while it's twisted and then later in the week she might take them out and then wear it out like that just to have the style last longer um, but the twist out style usually lasts um, a week for me and it probably could last longer I just like to wash my hair um, once a week so And if you need to, you can reapply oil on your hands. The more oil on your hands, the better.
Okay, so this is after all of the twists are taken out. As you can see, I've got super fun curls going on, just all over. And if you're someone that likes to lay baby hairs, you can do that. I just can't because my edges don't cooperate. Like, I have yet to find an uh, edge gel that will keep my edges actually down. So, yeah. Um, but this is how it looks. And if you want to... Uh, lift up your roots so that you don't have um, as much separation around your hair. Me, I don't necessarily mind it. It kind of makes it look bigger and more voluminous. And if you want to rub some more oil over your head, that's good too. Just to eliminate frizz throughout the day if you're someone that has a hard time not playing in their hair. But other than that, that is it. So, I hope you guys liked watching me do this style oops I missed one um but yeah so leave a comment down below please like please subscribe um share and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye